Male cuttlefish can intentionally color one half of their body like a female to avoid angering and getting in a fight with a nearby male, while coloring the other half like a male to attract and hopefully mate with the nearby female. This ability to flirt with a female while intentionally deceiving a male in the same territory is evidence that cuttlefish have something called theory of mind. Theory of mind develops in humans at around three to five years old, and it's the ability to understand that other people have thoughts and feelings and what other people might think and feel if you do something. So John is happy right now, but if I take his toy, he will be sad. Now, considering cuttlefish only live one and a half to two years maximum, that's crazy impressive. They have also demonstrated their ability to delay gratification or pass the marshmallow test when presented with two prey options, one which is a less appealing shrimp behind an open door and the other which is a more appealing live crawdad behind a closed door, they will learn to wait and not eat the shrimp so that the door revealing the live crawdad opens after 50 to 130 seconds once they learn that if they don't eat the shrimp, that door will open. Cephalopods, like cuttlefish and squid, are some of the most interesting intelligences to study because they split very early in our evolutionary history, meaning that they developed these forms of intelligence with very different nervous systems than we as vertebrates have. I cover subjects like this as well as some bigger picture topics in my weekly newsletter, which is free. The link is in my bio.